welcome back in the previous video i actually intended to teach you echo as well but for some reason i forgot so i'm gonna do that in this video and also introduce you to the concept of variables all right so let's first clear our screen remember it's either you use the clear or control l command and by now i'm sure you are getting much more familiar with linux and i hope you're loving it so echo what does echo do echo basically does what the word means in english echo is to resound something to repeat something you know and basically that's what it does in linux if i typed in echo how are you it's basically going to do the same thing right it's just returning back what i wrote out so echo and you can also put it in oops in double quotes it's the same thing so take note sometimes you would see it in, in this form sometimes in that form just be aware that echo returns back the same thing now variables uh, which is spelled variable variable okay so what does variable mean variables are very common concept in programming generally and it's just a way of uh, making giving a value to something that we don't know the real value just yet like a placeholder so let's say for example I want to assign a value to uh, something and I say name equals diary what that means is name is a variable and it has a value which is diary so if I wanted to know the value of name I can use it in combination with echo so rather than saying echo name equals diary now this I can only do this if I already know the value of diary but what if I didn't know the value of diary and name has stored it somehow imagine if it was someone else who set this value and there's another user that wants to know the value but didn't know it all he has to do is to use the dollar sign so you can do echo dollar sign and then you put the name of the variable which is name and it basically returns the value of name which is diary so this is one of those things that you would get to use a lot when you're writing shell scripts or when you're writing programs to do certain things you don't know the value ahead and you expect another user to supply the value on or, or another application to supply the value to you this comes in handy a lot so let's try another example let's say another user has set a value for courses and he just goes course course there's a course just one course equals devops and he set that value and went away and another user wants to know the value of course he wasn't aware of what the first user set the value to and he can literally come in and just do echo dollar course hit enter and it just returns the value so we are beginning to do some cool stuff on Linux and you're gonna get to know and do a lot more about things like this when you actually start writing projects because remember this training program is PBL which is project based learning and after watching these videos you're gonna have real world use cases of projects to do and part of those projects you would write shell scripts and implement solutions that will require you to make use of variables so there you have it and in the next video we will start getting much more hands-on doing some really cool stuff on Linux see you